So, a couple of things here. Uh, this is definitely going to be the finale. I've done way too much grinding for this not to be. Last time, well, I grinded fog all the way up to level 11 and uh, found that's when it actually starts to work consistently. Why is that? I still do not know. Since then, I have done quite a bit more grinding and some experimentation as well. And uh, I've gleaned quite a lot of information on uh, how wall works at least. So thankfully, wall does work. It probably just doesn't uh, seem to work because of accuracy problems and uh, because of accuracy problems and also there's a very distinct differentiation between black magic and enemy skill sets skills which are not considered black magic specifically hey Thorio man that is an awesome stream yesterday how's it going I hope you fully recovered Anyway, so fact of the matter is that I have a couple more tools. I've got a couple more tools in the box to, to deal with enemies. But it still does sting that I have no answer for Abyss Swamps. I have no answer for the Abyss Swamps. Also, last time, although it was strictly a reconnaissance run through Jade and Pandemonium, we did go all the way to the final boss. Uh, that was because Fog definitely landed. And Fog helped out a lot. I'm still recovering honestly. <laughs> was, was that your longest stream ever? <clears throat> Man, 15 hours. I, I can't imagine. And just yesterday there was a chick doing a 29 hour stream. Holy shit. How do you guys do that? I mean, is that even humanly possible? <clears throat> Longest solo stream. Ah, I see. So you had a longer stream with... Uh, what is your friend's name? Drake. Jake. I can ask you, we did 24 plus easy. Nice. The power of friendship. <laughs> but seriously, it's, it's bad for health. It's bad for health. Hope you took plenty of breaks, kept yourself hydrated, and all that stuff. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know what goes into that. <clears throat> so, fact of the matter is, we don't have an answer for Abyss Swamp still. So, definitely going to going to be the cowardice strat that I'm going to run away from Ab Abyss Swamp, and that's kind of that that really hurts my ego that. Uh, if we consider this challenge run in its entirety, it's a fail. This is the first challenge run I've failed. But that's primarily because of Wall. Wall has disappointed me, although, can I really say? You're a Chilean. <laughs> nah, that's just, I just crossed 1 million. For a working in shifts. So yeah, the challenge run is... Well, this is a failed challenge run simply because wall did not work. I mean, wall does work. In a way, I'm grateful that it's not the I win button that I was expecting more than just anticipating. <clears throat> but let's just go in now. Now, based on the last run, I know for a fact that uh, I can deal with pretty much anything. It's just the final boss that completely wrecked me. At least I wouldn't. I know, I know, but uh, by my own standards, this challenge run is failed. <clears throat> or at least parts of it. Preemptive strike on salamanders. Now we know that Fog 11 does work. What I 
you did want to find out is why did I have to grind fog all the way up to level 11? And mind you, it's only multi-target that uh, seems to have a huge accuracy problem. So either there's something super wrong with the accuracy formula or um, Elewood Spirit is just not factored into the equation. Regardless, I was disappointed to know that I had to grind fog all the way up to level 11. But this, this is going to be a guaranteed hit. Note that I also grinded Osmos up to level 13. It's got a very specific purpose which we'll see later on. Now the reason wall doesn't work in this circumstance is because salamanders have a blaze attack. It it it's it worked in the NES version probably because Blaze was considered as black magic, but in this, <clears throat> and rightly so, Blaze is not considered as proper black magic. It's an enemy skill. It's something specific to the enemy, and uh, I suppose going by later Final Fantasies, you can call it as blue magic. So Wall does not block blue magic. Going by that token, even even the stupid bow attack by the green goblins, some of the weakest enemies in the world, Wall was not able to block even bow one, <laughs> which was pretty ridiculous. But yeah, Wall has a very specific uh, uh, intention and uh, blue magic is not part of that. Anyway, so as you see, Fog multi-target, Fog 11 worked on these guys. <clears throat> I'll find out details about the accuracy later on. But I'm just glad to know that at least it works. It's not a complete waste of time. So with Fog enabled, once, once Fog lands on these guys, they just are reduced to a non-issue. Let me grab some MP back. I really don't care about any stat increases now. We are set for the game. And I've already picked up most of the items here, which is why I'm ignoring so called treasure chests. I think I've picked up everything on the first and second floor. This would be a nice test of wall. I'll show you. So, wall 16, multi target on the party. Let's get rid of one hectares at least. Now, although it's, a, it's at wall 16, I have no idea how many... Is he dead already? Thank God. <clears throat> so it's definitely... Is it going to block 16, uh, level 16 black magic? Probably not. But it's definitely going to block level 5 black magic as I'll demonstrate here. Let's use Nurgle as a test dummy. You guys don't do anything. Fire, fire, and that was blocked. So wall definitely does work, but because of the accuracy problems that I'd mentioned previously, oh shit! Well, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> I completely forgot to equip some protective armor on him. Anyway, doesn't matter. Now I can't even test out my theories. Huh. You know what, we'll take a wipe here, it's not a big deal. What I want to know is, does wall work on whatever black magic the Hectiles have got? Obviously did not, Gaze 9 did not work, but you see that Osmos 10 missed. That means I've landed 10 levels of wall on the entire party. And at wall 16, that's actually a pretty big achievement, multi-target. Last time this did not work, I wonder what changed this time. Regardless, now at least I know that level 10 magic can be blocked. Let's just get rid of this guy. And 
I think I need to go back and buy a gold needle. Nobody else has a Suna. Not a level 5. <laughs> oh god damn it. And I definitely should equip some protective armor on him. He has a black robe for extra intelligence. Don't really need it right now. I must admit, if Wall was successful in blocking even the enemy skills, it definitely would have been way too powerful. That would have been an Ivan button. So it's cool that it doesn't block everything. But it also means that I have no answer for the Abyss Worms. Where can I find a gold needle piece? Okay. So once again, Abyss Worms have proven to be a big nemesis. I suppose the only other, only remaining test for Wall is at the final boss. I don't see anyone who has level 16 black magic. And uh, note that I say black magic rather than enemy skills because they are obviously completely different. I don't know who has level 16 black magic. Since the challenge run is lost anyway, I am going to use the final boss as a test subject. So going to throw a memo save right in front of him and give it a few attempts. I can pick up the Yoichi's bow this run. Yeah, if I get screwed on turn order, that's just FF2. Nothing I can do about that. I've done all I can to make sure that Elevore goes before the monsters at least, if not before Hector. Oh wait, let's just grab some MP back. So since Wall has let me down, what I decided to do was go with Osmo Strats. So as we had discussed previously, another way to completely debilitate the enemies is just to sap out all of their MP so that they are they can't they literally cannot cast magic. The reason that again, the reason that doesn't work with the Abyss Swarms is because they have 370 MP per Abyss Swarm. Even at Osmo 16, it cannot do enough. Even at even Fog 16 is mi uh, Fog 11 is missing. That's quite disappointing. Quite disappointing. Osmos 13 multi-target is doing a little over 100 damage. That is MP damage of course. So Osmos is not particularly strong, but it serves our purposes. Enemies don't have as much MP as they have HP after all. But yes, if Osmos 16 had worked, I would definitely still be in with a shout. But the Abyss Worms just have way too much MP.
So I, I no longer need to worry about uh, putting this guy to sleep because Osmos, this guy no longer has any MB. Oh, he didn't survive two turns. We can probably finish these guys off. We got a preemptive. Even this turn, if Lin crits. There we go. I suppose super effective against Salamanders, as expected. Four abyss worms, oh my god. Just just get the hell out. I've calculated that I can probably deal with two abyss worms and maybe three on a preemptive. Anything anything above that? Yeah. Not gonna happen. There we see fog in action. So at this stage, only the Abyss Worms and uh, there's another enemy called Vampire Lady. Vampire Ladies also resist fog. Oh, these guys too. These guys are a problem as well. I got a preemptive fortunately. So Mega Parasites actually resist uh, mind mind elementals fog will not work on them the only thing they'd actually do is drain 16 and osmo 16 and of course physical attack but uh, as you can expect it's a problem on if, if they use it on hector so very fortunate that i got a preemptive there that's probably a good test for wall again yeah, next time I encounter the Mega Parasites, I'll definitely try out Wall. Let's just get rid of this King Behemoth who does not have any magic. Incredible amount of defense though. Can't even do a thousand damage to this guy. Why not? Oh come on! Also there's a 1% chance of an ambush for whatever reason. Might as well run a few tests here. So wall multi-target once again. And this time... Now we know for a fact that... Wall 16 blocks level 10 black magic. I have almost 13 so I'd like to find out if level 13 black magic is blocked. As usual we'll use Nurgle as a text subject. But this guy's gonna die before Nah, let's not, let's not kill him. So Osmos 13 missed, wow. So it looks like 
wall 16 is landing all 16 levels. Huh, that's quite interesting. Which means theoretically, I'll be able to block level 16 black magic. That should include Drain 16 and Osmos 16. We'll give that a try next time we encounter the Mega Parasite. I don't know why it's working now. It wasn't working the last time I tried it out. Wall 16, where Elliwood has 99 Spirit. But hey, I'm not gonna complain. For whatever reason, Fog do is, doesn't appear to use the same accuracy formula as Wall. Is it because it's on the enemy as opposed to allies? I don't know. But Fog definitely slated for some experimentation. I'll do that once I finish the challenge run. Right, so this floor, I think I've not grabbed all the treasures. Preemptive strike on three abyss worms. Can I take them? So, let's suck out all of this guy's MP so that he won't be a threat next turn. And let's hope that I can take out one abyss worm per turn. Three hundred and seventy MP. That should take care of him. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now, Osmos, this guy. And for good measure, put him to sleep. Yep, fight's in the bag. So, three Abyss Worms on a preemptive, doable. Well, I'll take whatever minor victories I can get against the Abyss Worms. Yep, not got all the treasures from here. Free up to strike on five episodes? Okay. Thank you for the challenge, but no thanks. It just sucks that there's a 1% chance of uh, an, an ambush. Age of Shield, let's give the Age of Shield to Hector so that he no longer needs the white robe. Should go ahead and take the power sash. Or is it oh, damn it. What should I give him? More attack. Yeah, more attack is always good. And the white rope can go to Yeah, I think uh Elliewood is definitely the best candidate. Still 99 agility, right? Yep. I grinded up his intelligence to 59, which is why Osmos is doing so much damage. I say so much, but uh, even multi-target it's not enough to completely Tap out all the enemies MP. Graham to strike on four Maximus. <laughs> These guys also have three seventy MP, so how to tackle this? I think I can use Osmos. Nah, probably Fog's a better option. Hector can definitely one-shot one. Hopefully Lin and Nurgle can take out one tag team. Should be able to. These guys only have a th Nope. Nope. Max 
ございます。Amount of cash these guys are giving me. Much needed bow upgrade, and it's only a dragon. Don't even need to put him to sleep.、But、this guy's got a shit ton of defense. This fight is got 450 MP. Wow, that was a lot. I hope he doesn't have more MP, but we'll find out. I'm willing to take the risk. Yeah, looks like he's out of MP. Let me look at this anyway. It's a red dragon, right? Red dragon has 5,000 HP and 450 MP. Okay, that was all his MP. This guy's not a threat anymore. And in case you haven't guessed, that is exactly the strat I'm going to use for the final boss as well. He has 540 MP. The problem is, as since wall doesn't work as I'd like it to, there is no way I can block his star fall, even if I can block all his other spells with wall. Cannot block star fall. Last time I tried, I was not able to block his other spells either. So I don't know why Wall is suddenly working this this run. Man, this must be the most I don't know as I've said about Final Fantasy II in the last year combined. But that just shows that I picked a really good challenge run. It's probably shocking, but I think this challenge run would be easier on the NES version. Not even taking advantage of the bug where you don't gain stats if you're poisoned or whatever. Damage upgrade for Lin. Preemptive strike. Yeah, let's let's get rid of the Abyss Swarm. Why doesn't the Yoichi's bow have a nice cool sound effect? All right, almost done through Jade. We have to strike on three Abyss Swarms, as we have seen before. This is doable. One shot! Holy shit! Don't hit that guy! Oh come on! Another one shot. Oh, that was 30 MP wasted. But MP is not going to be a problem here. These guys are fine. Even Lin should be able to one-shot one. Yeah, there we go. Thank you for your MP. Elevate getting useless agility. <laughs> Don't 
Don't you not even gonna bother with the protectric? I've got the white robe. Preemptive strike, let's get rid of the Abyss Swarm ASAP. Man, suddenly Hector's one shotting Abyss Swarms. When did that happen? Probably got an inferiority complex now that Lin's got a huge damage upgrade. Preempt to strike Mega Parasite. Should I risk this? You know, why not? Why not? Obviously, it's gonna miss the Mega Parasites. I should get rid of at least one Mega Parasite. There we go. <laughs> and now it's time for Wall Test. So these guys have level 16 spells. Let's find out if Wall can block level 16. Black magic. What am I doing? Ooh, I like how the Aegis shield looks. Don't physically attack me. Come on, drain 16. Osmo 16, whatever. 16 on Nurgle, best test subject, and it did land. So, wall 16. Nope, it's not landing 16 hits. Let's try a single target wall. So, you see, here is where the confusion lies. What is with the accuracy formula? I'll bring him back to life later. Single target wall 16. Sure, you do. It's not like I'm going to run out of MP anytime soon. Okay, fantastic. Nope, it still hit. Even single target wall 16 did not land all 16 hits. Very strange. I definitely need to finish this guy off then. He's a, he's a danger. He's a danger to society. Forgot to switch their equipment. Ah, god damn it, Nurgle. I hate that he comes back to life with 36 and uh, HP. Oh, I gotta live with this. So, wall 16 is not gonna work. Doesn't look like it's gonna work. Even against the final boss. It's possible that you need a higher level wall to block a certain level of black magic. So level 16, you actually need wall 17 minimum. Maybe. I'm just shooting in the dark here. So at least I've got confirmation that wall is not going to work even for uh, the Emperor's black magic spells. So that's probably bring, that probably brings an end to my experimentation. At least insofar, insofar as wall is concerned. Oh come on, let me just get into pandemonium. These assholes again. Quite lucky to get preemptive strikes from these guys because, well, as you've just seen, I have no defense. I have no defense against these guys. Pandemonium. At least we get to enjoy some cool music.
Death Riders. Useless creatures. But four Death Riders is a pretty good greeting. Normally they'll wipe the floor with you as soon as you enter Pandemonium. Twenty thousand kills. And that was just two of them. Lamia, hello! I don't need to set up barrier because I don't have any protective equipment. Speaking of which, I should probably... Why the hell did I drop that ribbon? I could have given it to Lin. Nah, I think since as, as long as I've got barrier, I don't really need all that. What equipment do you guys have? Gold hairpin for ritually, white rope for status protection. You don't have anything. Uh, I think it's time you get decked out in some. Ninja suit or dragon mail? I gave the power sash to Hector, didn't I? You know what? I think Lin could benefit more with the power sash. You can have the dragon mail, why not? It's not gonna slow you down. And I don't have any attack improving equipment right now. So, total attack of 127 for Lin and. 124 for Hector. Oh wow. Lin has more attack than Hector now. Fantastic. But Hector does have the Excalibur, so you always have to put plus 20 for that. Preemptive Strike. Can I finish them off? Death Riders are not an issue. That should be a one shot and the rest of you should be able to take care take out the mantis devils. See she's still not doing as much damage as Hector. Probably Hector has a higher crit chance as well. Although I've been told it's just a flat 5% per level. Time I did not get a preemptive, so need to set up its fall. Yeah, turn out again, screw me. But as I said, that's FF2. That should be a one shot. That was not a one shot. Lin, come on. One chest in this room that contains an ether. But 100%, I can probably take these guys out, no problem. So all those preemptives are making things so much easier, but. Uh, 
I've already proven that I've got effective strategies for all formations. So the preemptives are just at this point speeding things up. Mitchell Golem. Mr. Golem is not completely useless, although he's frustrating, takes a little bit of time. I got a lot of time today. So I don't mind this. Just more skill for uh, Hector and Go. Three turn the Mithril Golem. Go worlds! Hello, hello! I definitely need fog for them because I don't have a way to block their blaster attack. At least Lin can one shot up cover all. MP might be an issue here because uh, quite a lot of enemies do not have MP, do not have magic, surprisingly. And my high level spells, they blow through my 154 MP pretty fast. But I have elixirs, thankfully. Should I use Barrier or should I go ahead with Fog? Yeah, I think Barrier is much safer option. Although Fog is pretty much guaranteed. And these women have MP, fortunately. Give me a free refill. Not enough MP to cast anti six. Sorry, girl. Getting so many really nice drops this run. Just don't have a use for them. And yeah, they gave me an eye drop. I'm just trying to call them again. Just targeting individually just to speed things up. Wouldn't want Lane and Hector to attack the same one. In the small chance that uh, they were not able to one shot something. So now it's just basically a run to the boss conflict on the 8th floor is it? 7th floor. Up until then uh, nothing of note unless we run into the... Nah we can't run into the iron giant by that time. 
I really hope uh, we can uh, see the Iron Giant this run. Very small percentage. Fourth floor, not not even the seventh floor. Don't give me these guys again and again. Come on. Although, <laughs> what? He escaped. What? <laughs> that was funny. Oh my god, that was just way too funny. How the hell did he escape? They must have changed the the fear formula as well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> A Mithril Golem just ran away from me when I was at 1 HP. Oh man, I must say they changed quite a lot. Or maybe they just broke the formula. So, we come up to the first of the bosses. Preemptive strike, thank god. Imagine if this would have been an ambush. One percent chance of an ambush, but always got to be afraid of that. I don't mind an ambush by things like the mithril golem or whatever. No, 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 no. Nurgle has this one covered. So you guys take care of the others. <laughs> yeah, since they did change quite a bit, I'm disappointed that I couldn't find any documentation about this version. Everything I know is from the NES. There's a lot of documentation about the NES mechanics as well as of course uh, my own the information I cleaned from my own hacking so probably the only answer is I need to start hacking into this version as well because this looks like a very interesting cookie now speaking of this guy um, let me just straight up say it I can't beat him Which is why I'm having to resort to memo fire because I would like to give it a try at least. The problem here is I can't one shot him and he has flare 16. As we have seen, wall either multi target or single target is not good enough to block 16, level 16 black magic. It, and it's a black magic, it's not even an enemy skill. I can't I can't even use that as an excuse. Plus he's undead, so Osmos obviously doesn't work. Can I put him to sleep? No, he has a magic defense of 14. What the hell? So just gotta hope and pray. 2500 HP to get through. Flare 16 on Nurgle, that's totally fine. That 36 HP, man. Preemptive strike on uh, Beast Demons, eh? Beast Demons are another magical enemies that uh, I wiped to last time. But since this is a preemptive, I can probably take them out. Yeah, I can probably take them out. before they get to do anything. Again, just a thousand HP. So, no big deal. And what the hell is a Devil's Plume doing in Pandemonium? Probably just a pet. 
they were getting all those agility points. Seriously, that guy has been the biggest troll this run. That we've got the Masamune, battle should take, should go by a lot quicker. And that's the only reason basically. I don't particularly need the Masamune for any specific purpose. Preemptive strike on these guys, yeah, I will take it. Instead of using fog, I can probably use Osmos on one of these guys. Only 140 MP, so I could probably have multi-targeted Osmos as well. And that would have just completely shut them down. Alright, this fight's done. Again, the same fight. This time, let me actually try multi target Osmos. In fact, while I'm at it, I should probably also be grinding Osmos and Intelligence. Just for more and more effectiveness when it actually comes to the final boss. Why am I going all the way around? These guys again. Well, unfortunately, Osmos just does a little short of 140 MP damage on these guys, so I can't really use Fog is a better option, unfortunately. The reason I hesitate with Fog is because of how unreliable it has proved. Holy shit, Hector, calm down. Alright, going smoothly so far. Now this guy is Tiamat. Should I say go? Tiamat has a bunch of level 16 spells. I got a preemptive here. Does Tiamat... Is Tiamat weak to fog? Of course, I can put her to sleep, but can I use fog instead? How much MP does she have? The hell is Tiamat to begin with? Tiamat has 450 MP. So I believe that should be in Osmo's range. Plus she is weak, I mean she resists fire, ice, lightning and poison only, so she does not resist fog. Regardless, I think Osmos will do the job here. I'm gonna take this opportunity to grind up Osmos as well. Should do 450? Exactly. Unfortunately, I can't know how much damage my current level of Osmos will do. 
because it's obviously doing 450 at least. Without magic, these monsters can't do shit. So I can only hope that when I do use it on the final boss, it completely rips away his 540 MP on the first turn itself. Because the worst case scenario would be if he uses uh, Meteor, I mean uh, Starfall, on the very first turn. No defense against Starfall, remember? Absolutely none. Oh, she's done already. That's the power of the Masamune. Oh, she drops a Holy? I know she drops a Life Book. Finally, we are coming to Beelzebub, which is where I left all that time ago. Preemptive strike. Why not? Wolf Devils, eh? Okay, got a preemptive strike. So I can probably take care of this without needing any special strats. Wow, they have super low HP and defense. Come on! Preemptive strike on. <laughs> what are bombs doing here? Just tell me that. I doubt even their explosion would hurt. Quite a lot of defense on our people right now. So the thing about Beelzebub, and this is something that completely took me by surprise, is that he can use Blink 16. Holy shit! Preemptive strike again. Just so many of these fights are preemptives now. But just to watch, one of them is going to be an ambush. Again, he's got 450 MP, so can't really test out how how powerful Osmos is. Gonna grind it anyway. So these mini boss battles are exactly how I expect the final boss battle to go as well. Just with more awesome music. I really wish wall had worked. It would have been so nice just to see them cast spells and uh, bounce, bounce off uselessly. But this is equally as effective. It's just that, yeah, it's the Abyss Worms that will always haunt me. God damn you, Abyss Worms. Black Robe.
Nice, I got a preemptive air. Holy shit. Even the corals have a huge MP pool. Time for the final boss of the mini boss conflict. Astroth, who just looks. Well, not as bad as the other versions. But really, why? Why? Let's have a look at Astroth's stats as well, eh? Astroth, 540 MP! Nice! So, this will be a good test. She has exactly the same amount of MP as the final boss. Hmm, let me test out whether Osmos works. Works as in, obviously it's gonna work. It drains all of her MP. Seven thousand HP though. So this fight can take a little bit long. Five forty, nice. So we are all set, except the fact that um, the Emperor has a lot more magic defense. So just keep on grinding, Osmos. I think we are pretty much there. We're safe enough, especially if I get a preemptive. Man, she is fast. It's quite possible that if I hadn't hadn't got a preemptive here, she could have got in the first turn and completely completely undone all of my progress so far. God damn you. Okay, she's done. Wow, what a troll. You can probably just finish these guys off. Looking for the Iron Giant now. Don't think he's on this floor, but soon enough. It's almost like every battle is a preemptive now. Maybe they changed that formula as well. Man, so many things I need to look into. Osmos should now be at a stage where it can just completely debilitate these guys. Uh-oh. 
Okay, I suppose they have enough magic defense to not get affected by that. Still not enough, eh? Oh no, he used fog, so he would have exactly 34, 134 MP left only. I was a bit scared there. All's good, all's good. Took a bit of a risk, must admit. Look at how many preemptives I'm getting. Of the last eight battles, I think only the ones with the beast demons have has been a neutral start. So by the looks of it, it's Elewood's natural agility that gets factored into the formula, not his adjusted agility. So the one percent. Uh, Ambush chance I was talking about, it looks like it's uh, okay. This was another neutral start. Looks like it was more of a 15% since he still had 15 points of agility remaining before 99. It missed on the Lamia though. Should set up with barrier. Oh, she's gonna die. A useless barrier but I'll get some MP back next time. MP shouldn't really be a problem here. Hopefully Elevote goes first. Okay that's good. Look at how much MP these guys have. 300. More than 300. Another Ripen. I'll take it just in case. I'm gonna need that for the final boss actually, because he's got some nasty status spells. Another preemptive. Oh crap! I had no gonna attack this guy. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does not matter. What am I doing here? No, not 2 HP! I should have multi targeted that. Is she gonna come back with 2 HP? Ah, oh, man, that sucks! Look at that, it's all out of whack now. 2, 2, 1, 36. Hector's strength decreased, that's the problem with white magic. <sighs> Another preemptive. MP? MP is fine. These guys are fast enough that they can potentially go before Hector and Elewood. But as I said, if that happens, what exactly can I do, eh? I should probably use Fog on them on the preemptives. preemptives. How oh, things were? I've been really busy this last week. Well, that's a low. <laughs> that's a very difficult question to answer, Shihali. Um, Things had been going really easy. I mean, I don't know how many times I've said that this challenger was just a preemptive. Uh, maybe this was not a preemptive, so I'll just put him to sleep. But uh, yeah, things things were appearing to go really easy, much much easier than I expected. But uh, I just realized that it's it's because I'd completely I kind of lost track of the purpose of the challenge run. 
so initially you know i had to come up with strategy to have the fourth fourth party member use life uh, every time an enemy casts magic and the first three die yeah turns out that that was the thing that was making this challenge run so much easier so instead of relying on the fourth party members hp as you had forewarned actually instead of relying on uh, the hp bank of the fourth party member i decided to just include another restriction and that made things a lot tougher but uh, yeah and as you had predicted wall does not work on enemy skills as opposed to black magic it does work at blocking black magic but uh, for whatever reason i don't know either uh, uh, wall 16 doesn't seem to work i mean i i never managed to land all 16 levels of wall so there's quite a lot of experimentation that i need to do here sleep sleep but uh, so like like the mithril mirror test that i had done on the nes wall 16 even whether or not it actually lands 16 levels of wall it doesn't seem to actually block level 16 black magic now we know most enemies will go to special magic which isn't white or black or adding stats to power accuracy yeah but uh, let me tell you on the nes i was able to block blaze blaze 7 I was able to block Blaze 7, so I can only imagine that uh, Blaze 7 shares its uh, shares its stats with Fire 7, so it's considered as black magic. Bonka. Sure. Which direction am I supposed to go? All oh, right, this is the second, third last floor. Thunder Gigas. Probably use Osmos on him. He doesn't have that much MP. Oh my god! Oh shit! This guy is fast as hell. 370 MP, man. This guy is strong. I was just gloating about the fact that I can, I was able to do over a thousand damage, but then what if he had cast lightning, eh? Thunder. I would have been screwed here. I must be more careful. This guy can drop a black robe as well. Not really, I don't really need one. And the almighty for okay, hellfire. I thought this was a potion. Hellfire. Getting so many hellfires in hell. That does make sense. Ice kick is not a preemptive, so let's put him to sleep. I'd really like to see whether I can tank an explosion. But because these guys are so slow, probably not gonna find out. Why Elewood and Nurgle can't one-shot bombs is beyond me. Ice brand, eh? Seriously getting some really good drops. In a run where I don't need them. Ooh, a mixture of these guys. Got a blade safe, especially with how fast the wolves are. Missed on him, so if he uses fire, I am dead. I am dead. Okay, fortunately he did not use. This is what I don't understand. I mean, Fog 11 with spirit stat of 99. How the hell are these guys resisting it? Th 
300 MP from these wolves. Wow. That's what it means to be a magical monster. Alright, getting closer and closer. So final boss, I already know that uh, I cannot block his level 16 spells with wall. So, just for a demonstration, let's see what this guy's got, eh? White row for status protection. You can have the ribbon. You have the Age of Shield for status protection and you have the ribbon as well. So that's cool. Yeah, I need everything off of everyone. Question is, do I have enough inventory space? Hector, oh, you know what, he's fine with his equipment. But everyone else, strip! And let's see what this guy's got. Not a preemptive, surprisingly. But what I want from this guy, let's <laughs> let's see if we can put him to sleep, eh? Nah, not happening. Flare 16 on Nurgle, that's fine. Let's bring him back to life. And meanwhile, let's just enjoy this awesome music. 50, slow 16 on Elevode, and that should hit, right? Indeed it does. Now that we know that slow 16 hits, let me cast single target wall on Lin and hopefully he uses something on her. Wall 16 on Lin and with his uh, 99 spirit should block level 16 black magic but it does not. It does not. The problem here is made it back just in time. Uh, this, this, this is a reconnaissance. The, this is a reconnaissance fight. Look at that magic defense, eh? Um. So this this fight is just to demonstrate what all this guy's got. That's the monster I've been wanting to see all game. <laughs> and he's sitting on a nice throne of crystals. Although it must be hurting his ass quite a lot. So, definitely did not block Flare 16. The problem I have is, I don't know whether Wall 16 landed or it was, or Flare 16 was not blocked. That's the, that's the dilemma here. And that's the information that the game does not show. Well, this, this is niche information anyway, so can't really expect that, but it's just something to keep in mind. Curse 16 on Elevore. Eh? I can probably heal that up because Curse definitely will have an effect on uh, his casting ability. Where is Suna? Blind 16 on Hector should miss because of his Aegis shield. Come on, work, work. There we go. Okay, wall 16 on Nurgle, and let's hope he uses a spell on Nurgle. 
Oh my god, I actually put him to sleep. What the hell? What the hell? You can put this guy to sleep? That is... Oh my god. Damn it. Oh my god, that's just... <laughs> I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. We put this guy to sleep. I grinded up Osmos for no reason. <laughs> oh man, this is the most hilarious thing I've seen the all run in 35 hours. Oh wow. Let's just keep trying wall. Oh wow. You can put this guy to sleep. Give him some sleep medicine. <laughs> He's still asleep. Wake up already, idiot. I've got some I got some information to extract from you. You know what? I'm not gonna do anything either. This is just stupid. You can put this guy to sleep. He's got a magic resistance of 1670. Wake up already, asshole. I swear, if you can run away from him, that would be so cool. Okay, he's woken up. I've got wall on everyone. Uh... Nah, let's not do anything. Flare 16 on... Lin. Not gonna block it. Nope. Run <laughs> away while he's sleeping. <laughs> Seriously, you can put this guy to sleep. That is just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I don't think you can do that on the NES version. That's because crits work differently in this version. Curse 16 does not on Lin, you idiot. I don't. Okay, that was on Elio. Okay. As you saw, Wall did not block Curse 16 either. Again, was it a level 16 spell that wasn't blocked? Or was it because Wall did not get 16 levels in in the first place? Regardless, regardless, he still hasn't used Meteor for whatever stupid reason. So wall 16 is useless in this fight because he's got level 16 spells. Let me try Osmos 14 actually. Osmos 14 was not blocked either. Does he not have wall on him? Huh, that's that's strange. Did I not use wall on him? Curse 16 on Nurgle, that's going to... Okay, that was, that was Hector. Man, these, this, this makes it really hard to see who he was targeting. Now let's try Osmos. Osmos 14. Missed. So this time, Wall did land at least 14 levels or 15 levels. If what my theory, if my theory is right. Very strange. He's still not using Starfall. Line 16 on Nurgle, that's gonna hit. Yep, wall did not block it. And it looks like any status ailment that hits him just completely takes away the wall as well. Or is it time based? I just don't know. But this is very intriguing. He's already out of MP. Holy shit. I should have equipped an elixir on him. Nah. Get rid of a curse first. Flare 16 on Hector. Oh shit. This is gonna be GG. Well, duh. 
as if I didn't know that this was, this was, I was not gonna win this fight. Let me try. Don't have MP, damn it. Don't physically attack anyone, you asshole. Dispel 16! That did not miss. Probably because that's not considered a black magic. Okay, now. Osmos. Since Lin is still glowing, I can only assume that Wall is still active. Let's try our Osmos 14 on Lin. And it missed. Okay. So according to me, wall 16 single target definitely it landed all 16 levels because Osmos 14 missed. Yeah, I just think wall blocks black magic which is at a lower level than what you use. Shall we just... The problem is if I use Osmos on him, he's going to wreck my entire party. But that doesn't really matter, to be very honest. It does not matter. As long as we've got Hector. And there's a nifty trick with the Masamune as well. Uh, I'll just wait for everyone to die. This should completely sap away all of his MP. So he can't do anything, and next turn, he's gonna start physically attacking people. I'm just gonna wait for Elevode, Lin, and Nurgle to die. Before showing something cool with the Masamune. Two thousand damage, and <laughs> he gained back exactly one HP. That's the benefit of a base HP challenge run. How the hell is he getting for 549? How, how the hell did he absorb 549 HP? It's illogical. Hit Elevood, you idiot. What an idiot. Really? You're just dragging the fight. There we go. Now... Haste 11. Let's see how many hits he's gonna get. Twenty-four hits. Let's put him to sleep, just for the lols. Twenty-four hits and he's asleep. Okay, he woke up. Twenty-six hits and he's asleep. Twenty-four hits, one ninety-one damage. What the hell was that? Everyone declares this was the perfect time to call in. <laughs> well, you are busy at this hour, so what can you expect? Not even a thousand damage. That is quite all right. He doesn't have any strength boosting equipment. What am I complaining about? Oh man, this fight is going to drag on. But yeah, quite disappointed that wall doesn't work. Definitely doesn't work on level 16 spells. Let's put him to sleep. Yeah, surely I discovered something. Look at this. You can put this guy to sleep. That's GG! I wonder why he never used Starfall. But no wipes this stream. Don't ask questions. 
Not my style, Thorio. Not my style. Thanks for the GG, guys. I'm just waiting for the credits. Amazing run. Thank you very much. Oops. Drop. Drop. Oh, man. Well, at least the internet held on long enough. Okay, looks like we're back up. Wow, it was on zero for quite a while there. Unfortunately, I can't skip any of this, so probably a good time to talk about this challenge run. First of all, yeah, this, this one was right up there, I have to say. Along with my magic only run, the no magic run, I had probably if not more, an equal amount of fun with this challenge run. But having said that, majority of the game was actually quite boring because of the lack of magical monsters. And of course, my own stupidity for having come up with, having come up with a tactic that just makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Definitely gonna try this on NES, but uh, yeah. This, this, this challenge done raises a lot of questions. A lot of things did not work as I expected them to. A lot of surprises. The early game was particularly interesting because of generally low stats. I'm very happy about that. In many phases, the challenge run was a lot harder than I expected, but the majority was quite easy. Obviously because of evasion tanking, this is FF2. But yeah, I must say, really enjoyed it. Enjoyed coming up with this in the first place. Initially I had expected something like 300 wipes and at least 50 hours. I, pro I thought it would, this would probably take me over six months to get through. That's how difficult it would be. But I think it's just been over two months. And 35 hours. That includes grinding, mind you. Most of the grinding was only towards the end. Again, because of my stupidity. I would have liked wall. I've been honored to be here for it. Oh my god, you honor me, Thorio. I just hope that uh, you you had some kind of entertainment and or uh, knowledge from this. As far as I'm concerned, a demonst this, this was a demonstration of skill. It could have been much better, but I I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. But yeah, what else can I say about this? 
the minimalist restriction I put on myself probably make things a lot more interesting while at the same time it also made things a lot more frustrating for me which was the intention to begin with but uh, unfortunately I must say that I'm still not at the point where I'm okay with wiping. I've been in love with this whole playthrough. <laughs> Thank you very much. Save game completion, yes, thank you. I will save it on a different slot because I need the others for some more experimentation. Ooh, I get a star, nice. Did I not save this? Okay, it just takes you back to the starting screen. Alright, uh, hang on. <laughs>